This is the We Get Outdoors 6 in 16 interview series where we introduce you to some of the world's leading outdoor and adventure gear brands and the brains behind them. Today, we're joined by Heather Salisbury, who is the owner and co-founder of the incredible brand PNW Bushcraft. So, six questions in under 16 minutes. Heather, are you ready? I'm ready. Good. So, who are you, Heather, and why should we care? <laughs> <laughs> well, you already introduced me. I'm the, I'm the brains and the marketing behind PNW Bushcraft, and you should care because we make quality heirloom gear out of wax canvas and uh, we've been selling for almost seven years and we have a great reputation and we like to bring that old school style to our gear that's uncomplicated but stuff that you can rely on what should listeners know about your brand that they don't currently know um we're a small family business and um there's just the there's just the four of us it's me my mom my husband and my sister-in-law so we're a really small team that care very deeply um, about creating a product that you're going to be able to pass down to the next generation. We're really, really strong on quality. And um, we really just want people not to have to ever, well, we want them to buy something new, but we want them to be able to pass stuff on to the next generation. That's really important to us. So sustainability. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. I hate having gear that you have to throw away um and replace give me something i can use for the next 40 years and i'm a happy guy cool so what is it that sets your brand pnw bushcraft apart from your competition um i think it's because we really appreciate that people are choosing to spend their money on us i mean we're not a necessity and we know it i want to think we're more of a luxury but we really appreciate that people are willing to spend their hard-earned money on us and we like to include handwritten thank you notes with all of our customers because we're lucky. We're lucky to be in business and we're lucky that people are here to support us. And that's really important to us. Awesome. The personal touch. Now, what's the big thing you're currently working on that your customers will love? Um, we are working on finalizing a design for a wax canvas anorak. Um, we have been working on that for, I know, right? We've been working on that for a few years and trying to... Um, basically to modify a design where you can carry a knife on your hip or, or a gun and be able to grab stuff easily. So we're, we're just kind of tweaking the last of the design. So we feel like it'll do really good out in the out in nature. So we hope to have that out by March. March already for the start of spring and the summer season and the rain in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yeah. I was like, we have rain now till June. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And what, tell me, what do you believe the future of the outdoors and the outdoor industry is? I believe that people are starting to really realize the benefits of being outdoors for the mind and the body. You know, um, I think that people have, have come inside and, and closed themselves off. And I think, obviously, they have, <laughs> unfortunately, during these times. Um, I think they, they'll the people will now respect and enjoy nature more because it's kind of been taken away from a lot of people. And you just, I think that lots more people will get outdoors and just really enjoy and respect what mother nature has to offer. And I think that people will continue to want gear they can rely on. So I think the outdoor industry is just going to continue to grow. Fantastic. That's music to my ears. Um, <laughs> And, and tell me, what, what's your message to, to all the people out there to, who, get, who get out in the outdoors? Um, my message is, is to enjoy and respect what Mother Nature has to offer. And for the people who don't actually get outdoors because they're scared, because um, I know a lot of people who are like that, you just need to do it. I mean, just going to a local park is going outdoors. Anywhere you can hear the sounds of nature and enjoy fresh air is the place to be. It's not as scary as people think it is. And uh, I think people, I think people um, just need to, to learn to enjoy the noise, but the peace of being outdoors. Cool. And so this is a bonus extra question. So uh, you make uh, bushcraft resources out of uh, wax canvas material. What sort of things can people expect to see when they go to your website? Like what, what, what could they go buy? 
Oh, we make um, amazing bags, like cedar bags that are perfect for organizing like your pack contents, like cook kits and stuff. We make um, ground cloths because here in the Pacific Northwest, you don't ever want to be on the ground without something underneath you. And um, we make foraging pouches. So we make wax canvas foraging pouches and leather and wax canvas foraging pouches that are very handy as an extra pocket. Awesome. And did I see a tarp on your website as well? A what? Uh, a tarp. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> no tops. <laughs> oh, look, this 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 guy is a potential customer. If you have a wax canvas tarp, I'm I'm all in on a tarp. All right. Um, some something that will survive better than the rubbish lightweight thing I keep breaking. Cool. So um, Heather, if people want to come find you, check out with you, uh, uh, follow you, where, where should they go to and what should they do? Um, our website is pnwbushcraft.com. And on Instagram, we are pnwbushcraftshop. And on Facebook, we're pnwbushcraftshop. So you can find us on all those spots. Cool. So go and check those out and follow these amazing folks in the links below. And um, why not go and check out all of their amazing kit that they've got on their on their website? Because I think there is something there for everybody. Um, Heather, it was short. It was sharp. It was six in 16 um, and may today be the start of an epically successful 2021 for PMW Bushcraft. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you so much for having us on.